So you clicked on this video in hopes to actually get some insight on Skull Candy's Search Evil as to whether or not you should actually buy these or you should actually skip it. But before you actually click on this video, I'm going to tell you why this might actually not just be the very best decision that you are going to make when it comes to actually picking out some pair of nice earbuds. So I'm going to give you about a 30 second history on how I actually ended up with these. So it all started about last summer in the UK. I was actually just hanging out in Birmingham with a couple of friends and just going around and definitely I had my AirPods just stuck up right there. It was right there. Custom black AirPods I've actually seen in a couple of my previous videos. But then I go into the club, we're having a good time and then we meet this other people and then these two girls, they just come up to me and then they give me a hug and just be like, hey, nice to meet you and all of that and they just get in on conversations. They last say for about say five minutes and then walk out of the club and guess what? About three seconds later, I realized I'm missing my AirPods. Now, not to point fingers at anyone, but then I've actually had the JBLs actually keep me quite company for some time, and these have actually been doing a really nice job. But then, you know, I just thought to myself, no way to just splash on cash on new pair of AirPods right now. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna actually look for something that's a bit more cheaper, and that is how I actually ended up picking up Score Candy Sesh Evo. And I'm gonna give you a couple of things about it. Now, before I actually picked up one of these for myself, I actually went through a host of videos on YouTube and actually trying to find the perfect review for me to actually get a purchasing decision on this thing. But I'm gonna tell you for a fact now that there is no video out there on YouTube that's going to give you the very same information that I'm about to give you on this. Let's start off with the pricing of this device right here. Naturally got mine on a sale for about $59.99, which was an okay deal, I must say. And if we look at the unboxing experience of this and what you actually get for this for that at that price point is you do get a bunch of paperwork you get a bunch of manuals and instructions as always and you also get some usb type c cables there's no charging brick in the box but you do get some extra ear gels and of course you do get the buds themselves and a massively huge case of that it barely gets you any amazing battery life i don't know why they actually did that the case is like so big but yeah, the battery level that you get from this is only about 24 hours and we're going to come back to that in just about a second. Now we actually take a look at the design of these earbuds. I did get mine in this sweet mint color right there, but there are a wide variety of options right there. You can choose from depending on what personality you want to portray. Now while the design of the case is actually quite slick, it's horribly massive and does tend to stick out of your pocket a little bit. Some actually say you're getting a little bit too excited if you put this in the back pocket or especially in your front pocket some actually just get you know the wrong information out there and i don't really think you want to send that type of information out there no don't do it now has the case actually really quite held up for about say a month i've actually been using this not necessarily because if you do look at mine i do have a bunch of scuffs and max and rubbings of all of this i did have a bunch of like marks and all of that from my jeans that actually did pair on top of this i feel like what sort of, sort of coating of plastic that was actually used to make this is not really on the most expensive side and bear in mind yes this isn't all that expensive for you to actually complain about but i would have said that for the price point you should have actually gone with something that would have been a lot more durable maybe something a lot more, more mathy or maybe something a lot more glossy this is actually more mathy and it does pick up a bunch of stuff well but if they're going with something a bunch more glossy then yes we might actually have been able to skip a bunch of that and being that it's not the most versatile headphones that's out there you can't actually really just find the case for it but i'm very sure if you look on amazon quite a lot you might actually definitely would definitely get these because they are not just the most popular thing about that you can actually just get a case for now you do get your type c port behind and it feels like a plus here because most headphones at this price point will only give you a micro usb port you also do get at the bottom of it some led indicators here that also show you battery percent which each led representing 25 percent of battery life now onto the earbuds themselves the shape of this is actually quite unique as i do love the design and they are actually two flaws with this though i would say now one of it is that they don't stay in my ear as much as i'd actually really love them to i do find myself constantly adjusting this every now and then every single second as they do really fall out all the time and the second flaw to this is that when you actually have the buds in your ears and you're actually trying to switch a track or something you constantly find yourself pressing the button being that because of the button placement you actually find yourself pushing that button and also pushing the buds all the way into your ears every single time which is a really uncomfortable feeling most of the time i just hold them up and i just press it right there but i must say it's not the well sought out position and being that i get the idea the position of the button is quite nice but being that the shape of the buds are designed to just 
swap in there when you actually press it you get that bendy feeling it's almost like it's either popping out or it's actually sticking up way up into your ear which is not the most comfortable feeling as i did say before now let's talk about the sound quality of these earbuds now i must say the sound quality is absolutely superb and amazing i was really surprised for something like this i did get a nice bass treble is actually really okay and they are way better sounding than these jbls right here now they might not be on par with the likes of the airpods and the sony's of the world but without noise cancellation or anything like that they do actually do block out a lot of sound and they sound really amazing the volume is quite good as well the bass as i said top notch it's really nice i do love it i feel like it could have used a lot more treble but it's really okay and the different source sound profiles i can actually set this to to actually suit your mood depending on what you're actually doing with it at the point in time now some of the bonuses with this is that you actually do have tile compatibility with this if you actually do lose them you can actually track them through tile and also you do have the score candy app that can actually use to do a bunch of settings like that but then actually trying to fiddle it out for yourself it's compatible on both ios and android which is actually quite cool and most of the functions will work well and pretty nice you can actually do still control calls from this and actually you can actually call up the voice assistant on whatever device you're actually using in my case apple of course and you can actually just summon that there's different set of presets and buttons and you know three presses or two or long press and all of that they can actually set on it and it actually works quite well when it actually does work perfectly well now of course you do get connectivity via your standard bluetooth connection and the range is actually quite good though because um i've actually not really had any reason to actually leave my phone like really far and just walk away from it but the short distances that i do cover when i actually leave it, especially when i'm at the gym it does and if i just leave my phone somewhere and i do walk around it actually covers a nice range as well i don't think i know the specification of what bluetooth models on this but if i do i'll just put it in down there somewhere it's just gonna pop up but then also you do get ip55 rating which is actually really nice that's actually good for splashes do not submerge this one it's not going to survive it but on the plus side being here in canada i've actually taken this out for up to minus 25 degrees in a snowstorm and it's actually survived pretty well also with a bunch of rain as well it's actually survived really well no issues there whatsoever and no nothing so you might actually be thinking so far the hate t-rex everything you've been saying so far is actually quite good about these what is the downside to it i mean you did say you're not highly going to recommend this to anyone well that's where we get to this point in just about a little bit and i do have two of them which are really annoying more like three though but let's just say it's two and the first one is going to be the fact that this is actually the second bud i've actually had from skull candy the very same one now what did happen i got the first one for 59.99 as i said from best buy and also best buy not the very best customer service they weren't actually quite happy with switching this or actually giving me a refund on it but the first one after about a week plus one bud just stopped working it just didn't work i tried everything i could do i went to the website went to everything looked the videos online it just didn't work so i just went to swap it and i got this one now this actually waited to test it for a lot longer time and now it's been about a month now so i'm making this video right now so it's actually held up pretty quite well but i still would not recommend that in sort of a long-term thing i will still get my airpods 3 the pros of course or two pro whichever one's out right now i don't know but i will still get that but for the meantime i'm still gonna stick with this and that one and a couple of the other ones i do still have right here when i'm at home now the second thing has to actually do with the charging now these are rated to last for 24 hours but there is a quirk side to it now it's the fact that sometimes when you actually put the buds right inside and then you close the case just like that it just would not charge it would just stay there it just wouldn't charge and then you pick it up later on and then you find out that oh this actually did not charge sometimes i had to just reset it and just put my hands on it like that and just bring it out and just pop it back in and then yeah i would then get that charge i'm actually looking for which is actually not pretty like reliable i would say second of all is another one with the connectivity issue when you put them in the case and then you close them it's meant to disconnect from your phone but i've had a ton of times it would not disconnect from the phone it would just stay there connected all night long and then you wake up the next day and there's either two things that's happened it's either one it stays connected and it's charging the buds so therefore the case would die by morning but thankfully i do use a really fast charger and the charging time takes about an hour say per se for it to get charged up fully so even if i do 30 minutes of that is actually quite fine for me to get through the day but still not very reliable now the second thing that might actually happen is the fact that it would not charge and stay connected to the phone therefore the buds when you wake up in the morning would be dead 
which is also pretty like unreliable i don't know why that happens it seems to be an issue i went online i read a bunch of things and actually found out that a lot of my findings are actually quite on par with what a lot of people have actually experienced before in the past which is what i would say i would not totally highly recommend this to anyone even at that price point unless you find it a real amazing deal like i did 59.99 i could just buy it it's not all that much and i could just have it as a secondary set as i have this one right here and hopefully that would actually reduce the inconvenience but you know what's not going to be an inconvenience the glasses that i do use from jade black and also check out a couple scents from santolisi i'm gonna leave both of them linked right down in the description box right down below so you can actually go check it out get 10 percent off using the code life of t-rex now we're talking about headphones right here and i've actually told you what i thought about skull candy sesh evil it's not bad it's okay you know it could actually brag about with a bunch of the other ones out there but did you know that the MC350s is a really nice, affordable, big, closed, you know, full over the ear headphones that are actually built for multimedia and your studio? If you want to know what I really think about that one, I'm going to leave that video right up here so you can check it out. And I'm going to leave over here my latest upload so you can actually go check it out. My name is T Rex. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around.